So here's something light and hefty. <laughs> All at the same time. All at the same time. You'll, you'll see what we mean when we make this. <laughs> this is really good for like the summer or late summer, like, you know, coming up on what's this day coming up? Labor Day. Labor he Day. Does not so, know like, his you know, holiday. at the barbecue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, this is a fruit pasta salad. So, what we're going to do first is we're just going to lay all the fruit in the bowl. So, right. Oh, you don't want the pasta? In oh, you know what? A little pasta wouldn't hurt yeah, that's since what that's what thinking. we want to start then with a little of that. That's the primary thing. Okay, so what I did is I boiled this and, you know, got it ready according to the package. You know, you know how it does. Uh, so that you know that you got it, you got your little pasta ready. It's ready to go. I have cooled my pasta so that you don't have to worry about that. And then right. and that the, makes it easier to mix everything so it's yeah, not it sticking together. Exactly. So now we have some raspberries here. Raspberries. Please. Look at how beautiful those Aren't are. Aren't they pretty? They are. And this stuff, it just adds color. So here's a nice, yes. some nice little blueberries, right? Fresh blueberries. Fresh yes. blueberries. Everything see? is fresh today. We often use frozen fruit for, you well, know, for cooking, other recipes. Well, for cooking, yeah. But not for, for the a fresh cooking. pasta salad. So now this is pineapple, as if you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> now you might not know what this is, but this is this is a nectarine that uh, we've chopped up for you. Uh, well, it's actually for us because we're gonna be eating it. Yes. Wish you were here. I know. Because you can have some too. Yes, it's gonna make way more than we need right you now. You better know that we but love. But I can't wait to try it. Giving it to folk. Yeah. All right. So there you go. So now all we're gonna do is just you know kind of like mix it up. See how pretty that is. Oh, oh my that's gosh, beautiful. that's beautiful. I hope you can see that. You can see it, I'm you sure. Can see it. You have eyes, so mm -hmm. I'm sure you can see it. Yes. Oh, that is so lovely. Okay, All right. So, so let's now make the dress. Let's make a little dressing. So Mary, okay. what are we gonna put in it? So we're gonna put some vanilla yogurt. Oh um, nice. It's plant based, of course. So you just uh, find the brand that works for you. You know, because look, all this is plants. In fact, the um, the the what do you think pasta the rotini that's that's one with some protein in it that's a yes. protein rotini so that's pretty cool and then we have this is one banana that we cuisinarded we kind of mix it up real. pulverized <laughs> so it's pretty liquidy because you know this is the dressing so Hello. we need it to be that way mm -hmm. okay there we go with that lovely and then we have a little mm. bit of pineapple juice that we <gasps> saved from. So for the pineapple, we did use a can, but mm -hmm. as you see, the, it looks pretty fresh. And mm. so we saved a little bit of the juice from that. And we use the pineapple juice, not the heavy syrup thing. This is like in its own juice. So that yes. way we're not worried about that. So now, we're going to you know mix what? this up. Do we want to taste this? We did want to taste because it. Because we have... The recipe, so this is our own recipe. So we decided um, to that taste agave might be good in it, but with the banana and vanilla yogurt, mm -hmm. this might be sweet enough. It's sweet enough. It's sweet enough. <laughs> okay. So you Never don't need that. that <laughs> the pineapple juice is what is what gives sweetens it that it? extra. Oh, that's beautiful. It's really nice. Now, people. Just like you would do any salad, you've already mixed this up. It's ready to go. So, dress your salad. So we're gonna pace ourselves and not put it all on in case it becomes <laughs> a pasta soup. That not was, for that was pasta her soup. warning to me. Yes, yeah, <laughs> she saw me. I was good. She was like, like we said, we have like, worked together and known each other for <laughs> she years. Knew I was so. going for it. I was like, ooh, <laughs> here we go. I'm like, no, pasta we're salad. Be that. Okay, now what? Let me just it, not keep this it. in the bowl. Yes. Okay, so yes, yes I did so overdo it a plenty. little bit. Okay, that's that is plenty. plenty. So we'll we'll find another use for that dressing. Yeah, so that's just lovely. So probably what we would do generally is let this chill in the fridge a little bit yes. because that'll marinate everything. Yes. But I think we want to try a little and bit it would right get, now. Yeah, right? that's true. Mm -hmm. so we're going to try some just to see. 
If okay. it tastes as good as we know it does. Okay, we know it tastes good. Yes. Here we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's okay. such a pretty salad. Okay, so All right, I'm just going to try a little bit. You can yes. pop it off later if you want. Okay, I fork. think it's good. Okay. Here we go. Let's I'm going to try some look. pasta. You do that. I want, I want that, uh, the hefty side. Mm. I'm trying to get some of everything on there, mm. but I missed. That's pretty good. Mm. That's nice. Did you try nice. to it together? Mm. It, okay, that's where I'm going. Nice and fresh. And what's the word? I wanted to say meaty, but it's not meaty. <laughs> but uh -huh. it's where, where you feel full, you know. You know what's odd, though? I will say, mm -hmm. having it all together, mixed together, I might do a little bit of agave to it. Mm. And then I might... These are just ideas you can play with. Okay. I might top it with a little bit of cinnamon, too. Oh, cinnamon would be mm -hmm. lovely. Yes. Do we want to try that now? Okay. All right. Okay. She's done something to me. Yes. Yes. Here cinnamon we go. Cinnamon is right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to try a little bit of it over here. If it's beautiful, then you'll see that in the recipe. Yes. If it's not... <laughs> You'll just know we played with our food. We'll Should we just do it that way? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just lovely. It's oh, just us tasting I'm it. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And then we can try We can try with a little agave. Mm. Oh, that's cute. Oh, Give that's me some nice. of that agave. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're watching us create a recipe now. Well, yeah. okay, when so we created, now, now we're doctoring it on the spot. Just so bit. you know, this is how often we use agave. <laughs> we, used use we used to use it all the time. That was a mm -hmm. staple product. It is the thing to do, but now we're hardly, we're hardly sweetening anything, right? Mm -hmm. But this is pretty cool. Okay, yeah. so just a touch, because I don't want a lot. Exactly. All right. So it's funny over over time better. with us not sweetening things so much. Your his, palate his, changes. Yeah, and he's sort of lost his sweet tooth. I I haven't, but I can't <laughs> handle things as sweet as I used to. All right, here we go. Okay, let's, let's see what happens to this. us. Gotta get some. I gotta get a blueberry. That's the answer. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's it. So what's that? that? It's a little winner, bit of winner cinnamon. vegan chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so a little, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of agave, just to give that sweetness pop a pop, it. and you are set. So we'll so figure we'll out finish the, the rest measurement of that in there. for that and include that, oh, in, the recipe, in the recipe, which will be in the description. Mm -hmm. so. Enjoy your barbecue! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>